Hey guys, Sanfei here. As title suggests, in this video I'll be showing you how to launch several programs in one go. It's pretty simple once you've learned how to do it, but it took me quite some time to research, so you won't have to do it yourself. I'll also be showing you how to set custom icons for your new shortcuts, although most of you probably know how to already. The idea is we need a batch file to start a few processes at once. First, create a new text document and name it accordingly. For the purposes of this video, I'll make a game, a separate damage meter tool and the recording program start with the same shortcut. So open the new text document and write this, add echo space of new line start space double inverted commas slice space, then again in double inverted commas the location to the file you want to execute. You need the full path including the file name. Check on the address bar of your Windows Explorer, copy the address and then add the file name. Alternatively, you can look at the program shortcut, then check its target location, copy paste that and you're good to go. Then repeat the last line as many times as needed. Once done, save and close the file. Then change the file type by simply changing the extension to .bat. In case you can't see extensions, then either enable them or open the text file again and choose save as, then type .bat in the file name box instead of .txt. And that's it, you're done. Starting this batch file will run all processes at once, let me demonstrate. I promised to say something about setting custom icons, right? Well, I personally find this icon rather unappealing, so I want to change it. I can either change the default icon for all batch files in the registry, or I can do it individually by creating a shortcut to my new batch file and then just assigning it its own icon. I'll showcase the latter method only because it's fast and super easy. First, put your new file somewhere to keep your workspace tidy. Then create a shortcut to it on your desktop, either by clicking on it with your left mouse button, then dragging it and pressing Ctrl or Shift before dropping it, or you can hold the right click, drag and drop it onto your desktop and choose the option you require. Or just right click the file, then send to and desktop. After that, merely right click your shortcut, choose properties, then change icon. You can either select one from the list contained within Shell32 DLL in the System32 folder or click Browse to choose a different location. Thank you for watching guys! Hope you found this tutorial useful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. For comments and suggestions write in the comment section below. And to support my channel, you can use the link you see on your screen or click the direct PayPal link at the bottom of the description. Take care now, Sunflare out!